This MagSafe battery pack is, li listen, is literally saving my iPhone's battery right now. Since I've started using it, I managed to reduce the battery degradation to almost a halt. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how this little battery pack can protect your iPhone and save you hundreds of dollars. When this battery pack got released in 2021, I didn't pay that much attention to it. To me, the idea of having a bulky attachment to my phone seemed strange and inconvenient, and its specs didn't really surprise me all that much. For example, it has a capacity of 1460 million power, which is much less than even the smallest iPhone 12 mini's battery. iPhone 15 Pro has a battery of over 3200 milliamp hours, so the battery pack cannot possibly charge the iPhone from zero to 100. So what's the point? This is pretty much how I saw this thing for a couple of years until my iPhone 14 Pro start to lose the battery health like crazy. No idea. If you recall, the battery on that thing was dying before our very eyes. It was losing the percentage points at such a rate that it made quite a buzz in the press. So the only solution I found at that time was the MagSafe battery pack. I wasn't expecting much from it, but right now I can say that if you own an iPhone, you absolutely have to get yourself one of these. Before I tell you about all those battery shenanigans, let me just say that all my expectations were busted. I thought that this this piece of plastic would make my phone uncomfortable to use, but since the iPhone 14 Pro is a chunky boy by itself, adding a small battery to it doesn't really change the picture all that much. Plus, the quality of engineering and materials are top-notch. We wouldn't expect anything less from Apple after all. The polycarbonate feels great and not cheap at all. If you remember the iPhone 5C, which was made from the same material, then you know what I'm talking about. It is this soft to the touch, but really rugged and robust material. It comes in only one color, white, which made me a bit sad at first. I was really skeptical about it preserving its visual appeal after a few months, but it proved me wrong. After using it for quite some time, it still looks really good. It has a couple of scratches and marks, but nothing critical. I'd say this battery pack's design deserves a like. And if you think our videos deserve a like, you know what to do. Its weight and size, I must say, are great. Yes, it makes the phone look a bit more bulky, but the curved edges kind of redeem the ergonomics a bit. And since the magnets are strong, it almost acts like a convenient grip. The battery pack is not the only accessory I carry around, by the way. I also have this cool Armonica wallet. First of all, the design is just sleek and smart. It's made of this unique material called Bliss. No plastic, completely recyclable and super durable. The wallet adjusts its size based on what's inside, which is pretty cool. It's super light and fits up to 12 cards, cash, and even an air tag. The fold-out design is super convenient and securely keeps everything inside. I can easily access my cards and cash, and with the air tag, I never worry about losing it. Yes, in the digital age, I still carry cash. You never know what could happen to your phone, so I always have a backup plan. The color is really vibrant and it's totally washable, making it perfect perfect for daily use, plus it's eco-friendly, crafted in Italy, which I appreciate. What's really impressive is how it compares to other wallets, more card capacity, better environmental footprint, and it's more affordable. And the AirTag integration, none of the competitors have it. The Armonica wallet combines style, functionality, and sustainability in a way that's just right for everyday use. Highly recommend it. I will leave a link in the description, so be sure to check it out. What I don't like about the battery pack is the lightning port. Before iPhone switched to Type-C, lightning was not a huge issue. We were used to it. I still have a lot of lightning cables, so finding a cable to charge the battery pack is not a problem, but I would still be happy if Apple updated it with a Type-C port. But Apple decided, no, we're going to stop selling it completely. What? No, no you can't. From Apple at least, you'd have to do a little digging to find it on Amazon or your local reseller. But you know, we have to play with the cars we're dealt. So I kind of had to adapt to having lightning in a new Type-C age. Now let me explain how all this battery saving works. It all starts with the way the iPhones charge. All batteries have a certain capacity, AKA the amount of energy they can store. Now let's say we charge our iPhone during the night. You use the phone during the day, depleting the energy stored in that battery and in the night, you put it to charge so that the phone could go from 10% to 100%. It sounds like a normal way of doing things. 
then I have bad news for you, Manuel. You're killing your battery. You see, it all comes down to battery charge cycles. Each time you charge your iPhone from 0% to 100%, you use up one charge cycle. And the more charge cycles you use, the faster your battery will wear out. This is because the battery's chemicals are constantly changing as they are being charged and discharged. Eventually, they just can't hold as much energy anymore. Well, this is exactly what this battery pack helps to tackle. The Maxa battery pack is designed to be smart about charging your iPhone. It doesn't just keep the battery topped off all the time, which can actually wear it out faster. This is what cheaper battery packs or power banks do. Charge the phone to 100%. Instead, it starts charging only when the phone's battery drops below 90%. This approach prevents constant charging, which is like giving your battery a break from being constantly plugged in. By keeping the charge level around 90% and not constantly charging to 100%, the battery pack helps in reducing the wear and tear on the iPhone's battery. This is important because lithium ion batteries like those in iPhones have a limited number of charge cycles before their capacity starts to, you know, go down. About going down, if you want to keep our motivation high, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to ask questions about the battery pack in the comments because from what I've noticed it is not your typical battery pack this specific charging algorithm basically makes it an extender of your battery I basically increase the capacity of my iPhone's battery and when the phone needs energy it sucks it from both the internal battery and the battery pack this way the built-in battery works less which helps decrease the number of charge cycles it's getting but that is only part of what it does since it's an Apple product it has a tight integration into all supported devices. Your regular chargers and power banks do not communicate with your iPhone in any way. If the phone can accept the charge, they give it. But this battery pack actually talks to your iPhone and decides how much power it needs to give and when. This, again, prevents overcharging. Well, it does so much. Yes, and it also manages the heat. Since the battery pack and the phone are constantly communicating, the charging proceeds without unnecessary heat. The phone measures its internal temperatures and sends that information to the battery pack. And together, they decide how to properly charge the phone without overheating it. Well, of course, if I'm trying to record a video while charging, it will still lead to overheating simply because recording videos is a very intensive task. But in everyday tasks and general use, I have never seen the phone get hot, it is always at that comfortable temperature that doesn't ring any alarms. And why would it? This battery pack can charge only at 5 watts, which is not a lot. It is definitely not the battery pack for those who need fast charging. 5 watts, however, is the best charging speed for your iPhone, for your battery. Yes, it is very slow, but such a low power doesn't produce a lot of heat by itself and does not strain the battery chemicals that much. And with the charging power, it's all about putting a strain on the battery. Battery. That's the reason why Apple doesn't put fast charge in iPhones. All those Xiaomi phones that can do 120 watts have batteries that will go bad in a year. The batteries in iPhones are designed to lose around 8 to 12% health in a full year of extensive use. So in one year, your new iPhone should have around 90% battery health and in two years, around 80. If you manage to have more than that, you're a lucky man. I hope Apple brings it back, but revisit it better with Type-C port luckily in black color, maybe a couple of different sizes were just thinner. There is so much room for improvement here. It would be nice to have some sort of a stand or rubberized material because it could become a real alternative to the MagSafe charger puck and just lay in my table waiting for me to snap my phone to it. If you want to buy one, you need to remember about a couple of things. One, it's gonna make the phone heavier and bulkier. So if you use your phone without a case, this battery pack might not be for you. Or if you should allow lot of videos every day, then you're not gonna get that much boost since recording videos depletes charge faster than the battery pack can replenish it. But if you use your iPhone daily doing relatively simple tasks, this battery pack is for you. But beware, it's not cheap. A hundred bucks is a lot to ask, but in my case, it's totally worth it. It's much cheaper than replacing the battery. So if you're planning on buying the iPhone 15 or 15 Pro, be sure to grab this battery pack if you can. And after you buy your new iPhone, there are a couple more things you should do. We made a video about it, so be sure to give it a watch next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.